What's up guys, Alex from FIFA Scouting Tips here and welcome to the 10th Scouting God Countdown. This month the contest was on the highest potential players aged 18 or under and as usual we had some amazing entries uh, really pushing the bar on how good a player is to find in FIFA 16, really really good stuff. So uh, without further ado let's get into the countdown and see who made it into the top 5. In joint 5th place we have Alfonso Izquierdo found by Osofly91. Wasim Al Turk, found by Maximiliano M12, and Esteban Navarro, found by Cornish 17. Now, these players all have 92 to 94 potential. That's almost the best potential you can get straight off the bat there in fifth place. And they're all really good in different ways. So, Alfonso Izquierdo, rated 78 at 17 years old, incredible overall for that age. And some really good stats as well 92 dribbling, 86 short pass, 90 long pass. A uh, really, really good central midfielder. Wasim Al Turk, rated 63, so a bit lower, but remember, he is only 15. And with potential like that, he is going to grow really rapidly. And uh, encouragingly, his sprint speed is his best stat as well. And then Navarro, rated 82 at 18. As soon as he gets promoted, he is going to be one of the best players in the team. And as with all the others he's going to grow rapidly because of that potential and he's got some great stats like 93 curve 90 dribbling 91 ball control so as i said all these players amazing uh, players in their own different ways in fourth place we have Rafael Stoger found by Timo Muller. This guy is rated 59 at 18 years old and you may not think that that is that high but look at his potential it's 93 to 94 that's the best potential you can get in a player in FIFA 16 as well as that this is really promising because he's got very very good physical stats so he's got 78 acceleration 74 sprint speed 75 strength 77 jumping really good physical stats and what that means is that when this player gets promoted he can be trained and his physical stats uh, it's not going to matter so much because they're already very good and speaking of technical stats apart from a couple of reds here and there he is actually very very even in his technical stats so when he gets near that amazing potential he is going to be so well balanced a really good player i can't wait to see how he looks when he develops a bit more in third place we have Agostino Madeira found by FIFA Giveaway God. Now this guy is rated 60 at 16 years old, a pretty good overall for that age, but what is really good of course is the potential, that's what we're looking for and this is 93 to 94. Once again the highest potential you can find, but a slightly better overall and this guy has some really good uh, technical stats as well, like 83 ball control and a 74 curve, but what is also really encouraging is that he has decent pace and we all know how hard it is to find youth players with good pace. This guy has 74 acceleration so that's going to be really useful as a central midfielder to get around the pitch and cover every blade of grass pretty quickly so that's really good to see and with potential like that we know he's going to become an absolute world beater in second place we have Valno Siltala found by Maximiliano M12 this guy is rated 62 at 15 years old slightly better than the last one and a little bit younger as well but of course he has that amazing potential as well 93 to 94 there have been loads of these players with this potential so far it just shows how good submissions have been this month and this guy is no exception with 80 ball control that's going to be fantastic in the center of the park he's not going to lose the ball cheaply to other players and enable them to start an attack he's also got very good curve and free kick accuracy so he can score a fair few free kicks for you as well and uh, his dribbling is very good too so he's decent going forward and uh, what's also good to see is that his acceleration at 66 is one of his better stats as well so hopefully with a couple of years of growth that's going to be pushing into the 70s and going to be very very useful but regardless of that this is a very very talented player with exceptional potential and this month's winner is Martino Gutierrez, found by Cornish17. This guy's rated 82 at 17 years old, and of course with that amazing 93 to 94 potential. Just had to be this guy, he was really far ahead of the others I think, and that potential is just amazing. He could very well be a striker, even though he's an attacking midfielder. He's got 90 finishing, 87 shot power, 88 attack positioning, as well as 88 dribbling and 92 ball control. He's going to be an absolute nightmare for defenders to contend with. You only kind of wish that his physical stats were slightly better, but that's okay because really we only care about that potential and uh, his overall as well is coming into it a little bit but that potential is just amazing he has absolutely bags of it he's going to be a world beater one of the best players in the team I think as soon as he gets promoted and he's just going to get better and better I really do think this guy deserved to win it and uh, with that potential he's just going to set the world on fire that's it for this month's contest thanks to everyone who entered as you can see we had some amazing entries as usual uh, 92 to 94 being the fifth place one that just shows you how high potential the submissions were this month really really amazing stuff now uh, next month I think I'm not really gonna do 
uh, a scouting god contest as such. I think because it's only a couple of weeks until FIFA 17 comes out, and I don't really think that's enough time for you guys, uh, you know, to really be fair to you guys to find a really good player. So I think what I'm going to do instead is do a sort of recap of the five best scouting god players that have been submitted over the previous 12 months, so we can find a sort of the best scouted player sent in for FIFA 16. Uh, you can submit uh, some players if you want to, uh, there just won't be any sort of official uh, criteria I think. So if you did want to do that, make sure you take a picture of your best scouted player that you can possibly find. Uh, you can then send that to at FIFA Scouting on Twitter using the hashtag Scouting God, or you can submit it to facebook.com slash FIFA Scouting Tips, or leave a link to the image uh, in the comments below, or submit it on FIFA Scouting Tips.com. Uh, that will be, we'll give a couple of weeks I think, uh, maybe till around the 20th of September, because I'm going to be getting the game around about the 22nd, so uh, I think that should be give you a couple of weeks uh, if you wanted to do that but like I said I'm gonna be doing a recap of the best players submitted so far so it's probably gonna be previous submissions but anyway um, talking FIFA 17 what I'm going to be doing first, I think, is a guide on the uh, Total Club management system because that's completely new in FIFA 17. It doesn't look like the scouting system is going to change a huge amount this year. So I think rather than doing a guide on that first, I'm going to do the guide on something which is new and which will need uh, need some guidance for. Uh, so that'll be the Total Club management system. And I think what I might also do is set up a, uh, a Twitch stream for when I get the game uh, just to show you guys my first impressions of it so you can see, uh, see me playing it as soon as possible. Well, I'll have a look at Total Club Management and Scouting and all that sort of stuff uh, so you can see it pretty early. Uh, so make sure you uh, you listen out for announcements about that because I will be letting you guys know. If there is anything else you want me to do in guides for FIFA 17, uh, do leave a comment and I'll read through all those, see your suggestions on what I should do next. So keep all your feedback coming for that sort of stuff. I do read through it and I do try to take action on it if I can. Uh, make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed this video and all the submissions uh, so far and uh, thanks for watching. So quick update on our youth squad, this is in October, we've only played a couple of months and look how many players we've signed, I'm just going to scroll through them now, all looking fairly decent, there are some which I might get rid of like this one here, 